Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we will learn about field dependency in Salesforce. In this topic we will learn what is field dependency. We will take a scenario. Using that scenario I will demonstrate you how to create field dependency in Salesforce and then we will see some considerations while creating field dependency in Salesforce. Now let's see what is field dependency in Salesforce. In Salesforce when we select controlling field, the other field, that means the dependent field, should show only those values that are related to the controlling field. That is called field dependency. For example, there is a form and in that form, there is a pick list field with technologies and another one is a certifications. So in the technologies pick list, when you select the Salesforce in certification, you should only see the Salesforce related certifications, not then other. So let's see what is controlling field and what is dependent field. The controlling field decides the behavior of dependent fields. There are three controlling fields in Salesforce. First one is checkbox, then standard pick list and then custom pick list. Then the dependent pick list shows only those values related to the controlling field. In the dependent field, we can set which value should displayed according to the controlling field. There are two dependent fields in Salesforce, custom pick list and multi select pick list. So what is use of field dependency in Salesforce? Using the field dependency, we can filter dependent field values based on the values that we selected in the controlling field. Then it enhances the accuracy while creating the records because when we select the controlling field, then the dependent field only shows the values related to the controlling field. In that time, we will not confuse which value we have to select. Then to better understand, let's take a scenario. Here is the example of patient registration form. In the registration form, there are two options, a country that is controlling field. And after selecting the country in the other field, it should display the states. That means only those states which are in the selected country. So without any delay, let's jump to the org. There I will demonstrate you how to create field dependency in Salesforce. So this is my home page. So before creating field dependency, let's see why there is a need for creating field dependency in Salesforce. For that I am navigating hospital app. This is custom app which I have created. Then click on patient object. I'm opening the record. And here you can see here I am selecting India and now as I click on state field along with India states it also displaying the other country state also. So the requirement is when I select the India in the country field in the state field it should display only the Indian states and when I select the USA in country in the state field it should display only the American states. So let's create field dependency for this scenario. For that click on setup, then object manager and then search for object on which you want to create field dependency. Here I want to create on patient object. Then click on fields and relationship. And now to create field dependency, here you can see field dependencies option. Click on it and then click on new button. Here. In a controlling field, you need to select country and in the dependent field, select states, then click on continue button. Now here in the column, you can see the countries and then in the rows, you can see the states. Now we will select those states which are in India. For that, what you need to do here, I'm selecting states to select it click on it and if you want to select more than one values for that press control key and then select which state you want okay so these states are Indian states and after selecting it what you need to do you need to click on include button and then if you want to remove any value you can simply click on it and then click on exclude value so I am including it and then we are selecting US states, California, Georgia, 
then canada states like this you can select the states then for the brazil and then click on include button now we have selected the states according to that particular country after selecting it then simply click on save button now here you can see the field dependency has been created now let's see how's the field dependency works for that navigate to the object on which you have created field dependency i am navigating to the patient object then click on new patient and then click on next enter the patient details here i am entering test field dependency after that in the country field i am selecting india then as i click on state pick list here you can see only those values displayed which are indian states now i am selecting usa let's see the value has changed then select canada and here you can see the value has changed this is the use of field dependency in salesforce now there is also considerations while creating field dependency in salesforce so after converting the existing field to a controlling field or dependent field it does not affect your existing records it will apply to new records then if you change the existing controlling field value then the dependent field value will lost after that the controlling field must be present in page layout because if it is missing the dependent pick list values don't appear let's check it so in a country field i will not select any value and let's check if i don't select the country value that means controlling field what will happen so here you can see if you don't select the country field you can't select the state field also and for that if you don't apply this field on a page layout then the dependent field is not work for you then the make sure the dependent pick list is lower on the page layout than the controlling field let let's say the state field is above the country field and you are filling form from from top to bottom and as you reach on the state field you will see we cannot select this field because of we need to select first country field that's why the the controlling field should always top of the dependent field so these are the some considerations while creating the field dependency in salesforce so in this video we have seen what is field dependency when we can use it and then what is controlling field what is dependent field and we have seen how to create field dependency with using an scenario and i have demonstrated you how to create it and we have also seen some considerations while creating it if you like the video click the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates thank you